Hey, everybody. <laughs> my, um, my login was kind of flaking out on me there. I didn't know if I was live or not. Hope you are doing well. Happy Monday, um, August 14th. Oh my gosh, it's the middle of August. I don't think I've been on since um, the 1st of August. Thank you. Um, if you're here, say hello. I'd love to chat with you. I've got the chat on. It is um, Make It Monday with the plaid poodle. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a fun card today. It's a beautiful day here in Kansas City. Um, it cooled off for us. Um, I hope it's wonderful where you are. Um, my dogs were going a little bit crazy. There's a, a guy out um, marking by it's behind our fence line, but, um, I think he works for the utility, but it had me a little concerned because my dogs were going wild. Hey, Carol, I'm going to move my chair over a little bit. I feel like I'm, um, crooked here. There we go. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Thank you for, um, I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. My mom was, um, uh, just a, a UTI that went cray cray and she had to go into the hospital for some IV antibiotics so I think it had been going on for a while so she's with us um, while she kind of gets stronger so um, but everything's good and she's on the road to recovery but um, that's why I wasn't here last week Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. I am giving you all a sneak peek of some of the new products coming out in the um, new catalog. I wish I could show you the pages. We've got this new holiday mini um, coming out on September 4th, I think. Carol, you probably know. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. I know Stephanie probably knows. I can't show you the middle inside. It's so silly. I think it's a silly rule. <laughs> but um, we're going to use some um, products from it. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to get a catalog out to you. If you are my customer and have ordered from me um, in the last nine months or so, I will be mailing yours out um, this week, unless you're coming to my live class on Thursday, which um, I will have a catalog for you there. Save a little postage. Hey, Craft Roulette. Um, September 6th is when the new catalog goes live. I knew Stephanie and Carol would know. Hi, Kathy. How are you today? I hope you're feeling better. Um, yeah, UTIs can really take you down, and I think she waited too long to um, to um, kind of let us know what was going on. But but she's good. She's good now. Um, okay, so this is the card we're going to make. And like I said, these are, it's a sneak peek of products coming out in the new um, Holiday Mini. However, I'm going to show you a technique this kind of faux watercolor technique that you can use um, with whatever you have in your craft um, stash. It is the autumn leaves. I always love a good leaf set. <laughs> and I like the coordinating dies on this one because it has um, some fun ones for um, sentiments too and um, sentiment tags. I'm, I'm going to figure out what this one does and what this one does. I haven't taken a minute to do that, but um, that's what we're using today. And the paper, I'm just using a little, this is the All About Autumn 6x6 six six Designer Series paper. Really pretty. Kind of remind, oh, look at that one. Um, you could just put a sentiment on this paper and call it good. There's your card. Your card is done. Craft Roulette says, Autumn cards are always so pretty, and it looks like you have a beautiful spin on this. Thank you. Yes, I love to use this technique, um, Mary. 
when I'm doing fall cards. Look at this one. This is the one we're using. I just used a little smidge <laughs> on the edge right there, but I'm going to show you how I did all that. That I'm calling it faux watercolor. I don't know what it's called, but um, that is what we're using today. It kind of reminds me if you've ever done the baby wipe technique, which I have done before, and <clears throat> maybe I'll put the link down in the um, description to the baby wipe technique, the, the, the video I did on how to do that, because this, is, this would work really good with that one too. All right, but what I've done is I've grabbed a piece of our um, fluid. I'll show you a picture of it. This is not from the new catalog. It's our fluid 100 watercolor paper. I'm using that. And I'm just using one piece and I'm going to grab my, it's kind of messy. So I have this old, um, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of a vinyl mat just to protect my surface. You could use wax paper or parchment paper or newspaper, whatever you want. I just had this, so I grabbed it. And then I am going to grab a block. This is the biggest block that Stampin' Up! It's a background stamp block. It's block F um, to use to kind of mix my colors around um, for my stamping. And But you could also just do it on your mat or on a paper plate or uh, on wax paper, whatever you want. Okay, so the first thing I did, I'm going to use this large leaf stamp from the stamp set. I just threw everything on the floor so I won't be able to reach out to it. Maybe? Where did I do with the stamp set? Oh well, it doesn't matter. I have the smallest little surface to work here, y'all. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this large stamp and kind of stamp around, but first I'm going to use some ink refills. And for this first stamp, I'm going to take a little Cajun Craze. This is, of course, you have to use Cajun Craze for um, fall. <laughs> and some crushed curry. I'm just putting like two drops of the ink refills. If you don't have ink refills, and then I'm going to use some of our new wild wheat. which is very full <laughs> and it doesn't want to come out. I think I'm, oh, I was just going to do one and excuse my fingernails because I've got paint and everything else on them, but that's, that's what happens when we're being artistic <laughs> today. We're being artistic. Okay. Now I'm just going to spray a little water on this. I've just got a mister and I'm going to be real quite honest with you guys. Um, this is a Ranger Mister that I probably got from Amazon or somewhere years ago. It it is so much better than our. We have some Stampin' Miss Misters. Um, I do not care for them, so I'm just going to be real honest with you. Um, I don't think they work very well. Um, they just kind of they don't mist. They plop, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, um, but. I also have one somewhere around here that a customer gave me and it was from I think the Target you know they have that travel area and little spray bottles to take when you travel um, and um, they work it works really good too there goes my dogs there like I said there's a utility guy back behind our fence working <laughs> so I'm hoping they don't go crazy um, Mary has something black from the stove under her fingernail. Well, mine is paint. And anyway, cause I, I made this card this morning and I, I don't care. I get paint on my fingers. You could wear some gloves if you worry about that. Okay. I've got this all smushed up. Now I'm going to grab some paper towels. You guys, I am no artist and there is really no, um, what would you call it? There's really no right or wrong way to do this because you're just smooshing around this paint. <laughs> See how I'm smooshing that around with my stamp? And 
if you think you got a little too much, just kind of dop it on your um, paper towel. I don't want it to just really um, fly out from the edges, if that makes sense. If it's too wet when I stamp, the image is going to just make like a little round circle, if that makes sense. And I don't want it to do that. I kind of want that leaf shape. Now we could even do second generation like that, and we're gonna, we'll make sense of that here in a minute. And you can see the Cajun craze really um, took center stage. So I probably should have just done, or could have just done, um, fewer uh, drops of the Cajun craze. Because you can hardly tell the crushed curry is, is there. And I'm just kind of, I'm putting this on dry watercolor paper. And I think I'll do one more. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill in with some other images. You'll notice I have a green leaf, and then I've added, these are pumpkin pie. They're very close to my Cajun craze, but I think on this one, since I have did so much Cajun craze ink, that my pumpkin pie leaves are gonna show up a little bit better. So I'm just gonna wipe all this goop off. And I'm going to grab <clears throat> this smaller leaf image, and I'm going to use a little um, mossy meadow. I'm probably using way too much ink. But like I said, there's no right or wrong. And then I'm going to just drop a couple uh, crushed curries in there, just to kind of, I don't know. And then here, I'm going to just spray a little bit with my mister. And you could kind of um, run them together like this if you want. I don't know. I kind of like to just squish it in there. This is going to be very green, but that's okay. That's okay. Because like I said, there's no right or wrong. And I don't want them too wet. That's why I'm kind of dropping them off on my paper towel. Like I said, I don't want that ink to just spread when I press down onto the watercolor paper. I don't want it to spread and um, just make a blob. All right, I think that's good because I want to add um, these little leaves. Whoops these little leaves and I'm going to add those in the pumpkin pie. So obviously I am using too much ink or I wouldn't have to scrape so much off. So I'm going to grab my pumpkin pie ink refill and I might add a little bit of crushed curry. We'll just add some crushed curry to everything. <laughs> Okay, some more water. And then I'm just going to squirrel it around. I'm not getting the total impression of this stamp, but that's okay because we're going to add um we're going to add the veins later. And that will give us the um, the, the outline, outline that we would like. I'm just kind of filling in these empty spots. We're going to cut this anyway uh, for our card. I'd really like one right there. So I think what I'll do is just ink up one side and just kind of wipe this one off and add one right there and maybe one right there. I'll do that again. I'm not gonna, I'm just inking up that one side and wiping this off and I'm not being real careful because 
it's just a smattering, right? And maybe one right there. Let's do both of them right there. Okay. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, have a roll of paper towels beside you when you're doing this. <laughs> The last thing I'm going to do is just take a little, um, I think I probably got this at Walmart. You know, everybody has a box of um, acrylic paint laying around. And I'm going to add some water to it. And I'm going to take one of my water painters. A feeling that this might not be too, as dark as I like and then I'm just gonna tippy tap might have added a no I think it's gonna be okay I should have probably dried my leaves first as you can see how the black is kind of blending into that last leaf that's okay all right I need more paper towels. Now we are done with that. That's what I'm calling a faux watercolor. <laughs> it may be something else. That's what I'm calling it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. And we're going to dry this a little bit. This little mat is kind of neat. I don't know where I got it years ago. And you can just stick it under the sink and rinse it off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my heat tool, so I apologize for the noise, and we're going to dry this off a little bit. Okay, now we're going to add the definition to all these leaves with these veins. Um, I just came back and used the same colors. I'm going to use um, the Mossy Meadow. Carol has a mat exactly like that. I don't, I got it years ago. Um, it's not one of those fancy ones that... You know, a lot of people have those glass mats and things. It's just, and you can roll it up and store it real easily. So I'm just going around and using Mossy Meadow on top of Mossy Meadow. I hope you can see the veins, I think a little bit. And then the Cajun Craze for our leaves. Forty years old? Well, mine might be that old. You know, I think forty years ago is. Yeah, it could very well be. <laughs> okay, and you know what might help too? Since this is a photopolymer stamp, I'm gonna put my little um, Now, remember this one I said we would fix again? I kind of did a, a second generation on that. So once we put the veins on there, you can kind of see the lines and everything. And then I've got this one right in the middle. Okay. Now the last one is the pumpkin pie. And I just re-inked my pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, that's good. I think I need a new pumpkin pie um, 
Is this the right one? Yes. Um, no, it's not. It's this one, y'all. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. I think I need a new pumpkin pie um, ink pad. I've been re-inking it and re-inking it, and um, it's not really taking the ink very well. So I think on my next order, that is what we're going to do. course you have to use pumpkin pie when you're making a fall card right pumpkin pie and Cajun craze this one's really cool I must have um, did second generation on that and it kind of showed up really well I think I got all of them I don't like what happened there but it is what it is. Okay, so that's it, guys. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thanks for stopping in. Mary from uh, Craft Roulette, you guys need to tune in on Friday nights for Craft Roulette on YouTube. Okay, now for the card base, I'm going to set that aside a minute. I have cut a piece of pumpkin pie. Here's all my other little pieces. That is, I think it's seven and five eighths. Um, yes, seven and five eighths. And then I've scored it at four and a fourth to make my card front. Where's my sample? Here we go. You can see that. And then we're going to cut this to fit. And since I don't like that, I'm going to cut this. But we have enough. I was hoping we'd have enough to make two. But we have enough to make one. <laughs> so I'm going to need my paper trimmer. But don't get rid of your scraps because we, we'll um, keep an eye out on my page later. And um, I will probably make a um, another card with scraps. You don't want to waste those. Okay, so we need this one to be five and a fourth. I wonder if I'm going to do it this way. My ruler. Three. Three by five and a fourth. Nose is itching. Three by five and a fourth. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Now we can figure out what to do with this, so don't throw that away because you can make another card with these scraps after you went to all that trouble. And I'll make one and sh I'll post it later. So that is that. And then the opposite side of our designer series paper that I used here on the edge, I cut two leaves using the dies from that bundle on the op from the opposite side. I thought they looked really cute. I can get them out of here. Here's all my other scraps that I'm going to make cards out of. Are they pretty? So don't don't throw your scraps away because you're going to want to make a card out of it. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. All right, let's put it all together. This paper is foil on one side and then a print on the other. I don't know if you all noticed that. So I'm using this um, really fun geometric Kind of a copper foil just to put on this edge it's just it's one inch by um, five and a fourth this piece of very vanilla is five and a fourth by four it's going to go on the inside of our card but I wanted this um, designer series paper to kind of peek out the edge
And I use my multi-purpose liquid glue because I can kind of smush it around and make sure everything's good. And if it's not, no worries. I'm going to just trim the tiniest little bit off that bottom and everything's everything's copacetic now because <laughs> that would bug me that would bug me all right we're going to put this on the inside of our card and then we have room to either stamp a sentiment or um, write a note however you want to do it I tend to leave my insides kind of um, blank so that when the occasion arises I can just kind of put what I want to put. This would be a really pretty, um, I've made it a thank you card, but it would be a really pretty um, sympathy card or birthday card or thinking of you card. Then we're going to put our watercolor right on that little front flap if you have any floral image stamps this would be a really fun technique to use with that I got glue on the thing um, but I always think it's really pretty for um, fall. Okay. For my um, sentiment, I use the metallic embossing powder. The bra the um, oh, what am I? Copper, copper. So we're going to do a little heat embossing and we'll need our Versamark, our embossing powder, and I'm going to grab my little embossing buddy. This is an anti-static tool that will take the um, any static that your embossing powder might stick to off. And then I'm using the I'm thankful sentiment and we're going to cut it out with a die. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. It's really pretty font and very fine, very um, tiny. More on there. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the heat tool again. <laughs> Heat tool just melts that embossing powder and makes it really shiny. And then we're going to cut that out with a die from the, <laughs> the stamp set, which I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you guys, you can tell I have been out of practice. Here we go. Aren't those fun dies? So there's dies to cut all the leaves out. There's these little extra, um, what would you call that? Textured leaves that go with it. It's really pretty. And like I said, I've got to figure out what to use that for. <laughs> all right. I am going to tape this down and cut it out from my stamp and emboss machine. Cut and emboss. 
I didn't think I had to um, cut anything. I thought I had everything kind of pre-done, but I forgot about this. So sorry about that. All right, here we go. And I don't want to lose my die. I hate it when that happens. All right, so this one I just kind of um, adhered it down here, not, not right in the middle, but a little bit south of the middle. I am so sorry, my nose is just itching. All right, I'm gonna put it right, right there, I think. Is that kind of how I did it? Yeah. There we go. And then I added these two little leaves. And I used the mini dimensionals to put those on. I kind of wanted them to be popped up. Like I said, these stamps and um, paper and the ribbon I'm going to use here in a minute will be available on September Whatever we decided. <laughs> September 6th, was that it? That seems so late. I'm so sorry. Let's see. What did it? Yep, September 6th. Ugh, that just seems so late. Why do they make us wait? Okay, so there's my little leaves. I think I'm going to pop them up a little higher. And I've just kind of got them. I've got this green leaf down here that's really dark that's kind of covering them up. So that's okay. Um, and then the ribbon I used is also from the new Holiday Mini. It is the Copper and Natural Ribbon Combo Pack. Isn't that a fun burlap ribbon? And then I used this copper foil. I thought it was really pretty. And we're just going to tie a knot. It's just going to be. Just a little shiny embellishment. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use a little, if I can find them, they might have gotten knocked on the floor mini glue dot oh, right in front of me <laughs> yep. right stick it right there I think I need to tighten my knot a little bit. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Then I'm going to just trim this up a little, just a little bit. Well, Ferdinand. There we go. Now we're going to have a real short one. That's okay. Yeah. All right. That is the card. That is what I call the um, faux watercolor. You can see on my sample that I did, I um, didn't use as much ink and probably not as much water. So if you don't want yours to be dark like this one, don't don't spritz as much water. Um, just use less water and you'll you'll get that effect. But just practice around. Let's see. Where are those samples at? 
I don't know what I did with them. I was going to show you. Here's the other one that we'll make something with. You don't want to throw that away. And then I had a bunch of squares. And I've thrown them somewhere. <laughs> Rewind the tape and you'll find them. <laughs> um, that is the card. So simple. Like I said, I love to use this technique with um, fall, autumn leaves. Um, but it would also be really pretty with if you had a real, um, you know, a floral image that you could um, stamp out and um, just use your imagination. Maybe just some shapes, some circles, some ovals, and um, just give it a, a soft little look on your card. Um, that is the card for today. That is Make It Monday. Um, I was trying to think. Today is the last day, if you're local to me, to sign up for Thursday's class. You can go to thepladpoodle.com and under classes or events, classes and events, <laughs> there's a place to RSVP and um, there is still room um, in both afternoon and evening. So, uh, But today's the last day because I will be cutting, um, cutting cards for the classes and you can also see samples of the cards over there as well. I should have had them out here to show you but um, like I said I'm a little um, off my kilter with my schedule right now. <laughs> I really appreciate you stopping by and appreciate your um, your understanding everything. We will talk soon. Um, have a happy day. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.